Alabama U.S. Senator Tommy Tuberville made a series of public comments at a recent Trump-sponsored rally in Nevada. Some Alabama leaders are now calling those comments racist and divisive. Some are asking Tuberville to apologize and acknowledge the racial components of his remarks. News 19's Kayla Smith joins us in the studio with more on this. Kayla. Well, in his speech, Tuberville said with their majority in Congress, Democrats could stop crime like drugs coming across the border. He says members of the party want crime, drawing a comparison between minority groups and criminals and claiming that Democrats believe reparations are owed to minorities, saying, quote, they think the people that do the crime are owed that. Alabama House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels was angered by the remarks, but says the statements Tuberville made are not representative of all Alabama leaders and the state is a whole. And he says while Tuberville was vocal on Saturday, he's been very quiet since then. There's no apology from the senator. There's not a peep. Uh, he's like he's in a bunker, uh, just waiting, just hiding right now. And so I think that if the senator um, truly regrets the statements that he made, he should come out and say, hey, it was taken out of context or what have you. House Minority Leader Daniels says he is disappointed but unsurprised by Tuberville's comments. He's shown us this time and time again. At the Saturday rally in Nevada, Tuberville said that the statement that Democrats are soft on crime is not correct, saying instead, quote, no, they're not soft on crime, they're pro-crime. They want crime because they want to take over what you've got. They want to control what you have. They want reparations because they think the people that do the crime are owed that. They are not owed that. End quote. Daniel says he's concerned about the impact statements like this may have on people considering moving to Alabama, bringing industry and contributing to the growth of the state. When you have folks like myself and, 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 and our leaders in North Alabama and leaders across the state focusing on economic development and opportunity, you know, how is that going to help NASA and our defense industry, uh, the DOD and our contractors and industries that are moving in? in the North Alabama and across the state of Alabama, how is it gonna help them retain talent or attract talent uh, to be on the front lines working uh, for their companies and corporations? Daniel says Tuberville's comments are ignorant and he says those who do not speak up against them are complicit in that ignorance. My first reaction was the, the response that I uh, put out there that if you know the Senator truly believes what he said about reparations, it's time for him to be put on the um, um, concussion protocol and taken off the playing field because no one in their right mind would make such an insane statement that's especially a U.S. senator. And former U.S. Senator Doug Jones also called out Tuberville's comments on social media. He said he believes the statements stem from racism and ignorance, and they hearken back to a really dark time. I reached out to Tuberville's office for comment but have not received a response.